for a treat. This is way harder than I expected it to be. That killer, he got me the greatest. That killer, he keep on the latest. That the killer gon' always update to Cause he having flavor. Items I used were tape, basket of my choice, um, some contact paper, um, some spray paint, and little trinkets I liked. And most importantly, jugs with a dispenser. So I started with the easiest thing first. Of course, that's spray painting. I got these little buckets from Dollar Tree. My favorite store. So here I am at Dollar Tree again. I was looking for like the gallon jugs. Um, but of course, this Dollar Tree failed me. All they had were these tiny jugs, and that is not what I needed for my project. I had to walk around the store at least three times. Then I ended up going to another Dollar General. Still nothing. So I went to Goodwill, and of course. I like this one. I just want to show y'all how much money I really saved. Fifteen ninety six. <coughs> Walmart, you tripping? So I figured out which one I wanted, which which two I wanted. Um, and I got these two, so you know I just got home from the Goodwill. And baby, you know you shop in Goodwill that you need to wash your stuff before you put it on, before you use it. There's just nothing wrong with that at all. So I went ahead and set this in the sink to get cleaned. And I um added bleach in the water and I let it sit for a day, y'all. I'm not gonna lie, because after I put it in the sink, I um you know just left it there. <laughs> but that's okay, because you know, the more it could soak, the more clean it can get, I guess. Okay.
I also wanted to run the water to check the spouts to make sure they work. And this one I had a slight leak, but then I discovered that I could twist it all the way off and retighten it, and that helped. So they're all clean, I'm drying them, and now for the hard parts. So you'll choose the design you want. Um, on your jug, I wanted striped gold stripes all the way down, and I retake this at least three times because I just could not figure out how I wanted it to lay. Um, I would suggest that you use painter's tape because it's easier to rip off um, and I still didn't get the design I wanted but it's okay it's okay because it still turned out very very pretty I got my stripes on in there, y'all. It was the struggle for sure. Now for the moment of truth. Um, I started to actually follow the line of the design on this one. But um, I was like, let's see what it looks like if I go the opposite direction. And go straight up and down. And it turned out really nice. I like the beehive look. Before um, I change this around, I do want to give y'all a tour. <laughs> It's not much, not much, but it's something. Okay. So, here is everything I bought recently because I haven't had any space up here on my shelves, right? Alright, and these are the shelves we're using 
to kind of organize everything. So here is my dog stuff in this box. This is Trey's potty box and we just recycled it for Coco stuff. Um, as you see, wash the target bleach, cleaning carpet, all that stuff up there at the top. And on the other side we have Oh, an even bigger mess. <laughs> okay, so this is an Arby's bag that supposed to be used to go grocery shopping, but I actually forgot that I really had it. Um, also, these little pink totes. Um, I was going to color them a different color. I was gonna do uh, either gold because, but. I mean, pink, green, and gold go together, so why would I have to change? Yeah, so. And here is just a bunch of arts and crafts stuff that I have to go. So I just want to stop to take a moment to say that this is way harder than I expected it to be. Y'all, this has been a project that has taken more days than it was supposed to. That's fine. It's absolutely fine. So, I'm going to show y'all where I am now. Um, got everything in here for the most part. I just need to, you know, clean up and get all this little extra stuff that's left. Help it find a home. So, I'm going to do that right quick. And y'all can keep watching if you like. Definitely keep watching. <laughs> okay. These are like extra bed legs that came into my bed. I'm like, okay, maybe I'll use those one day. But I do have an empty container up on this side that these can definitely go. These are TV legs and go to my TV, but my TV is on the wall, so. Mm -hmm. This goes to the second mount that we don't have, so I guess I can throw these away. I just be holding on to stuff. This right here can go in the trash, in the garbage. In the garbage it goes. I'm going to swipe my own. Um, see, this is gonna be the hard part. Remember where I put stuff?
for me. I got my ironing board right here on this side. I got my broom right there in the corner. And those boxes I had earlier, I'm gonna keep them because they're great for when I am spray painting something. Yeah. Here is a customer is going to the back right now for a trailer hookup. Uh, it's a. Um, I just discovered this. It's RV one eight three four G. everything for him, right and you know all brands have the free and clear but for some reason I just feel like the free and clear does not give me that fresh clean feel so I found some hypoallergenic and you know it's ivory so ivory is already a brand for eczema right and it says designed for sensitive skin. So um, I absolutely fell in love with this. Uh, I, this is my second time buying it. Uh, the first time was great. The uh, tray hasn't had any breakouts from its clothes since then. And that's always a plus. So now I can finally show you guys why I decided to use these gels. So I'm gonna pour this in there. Ways up. <laughs> so I can just 
put these back up here just like this. Open my washer, load my clothes. Let it get on in there. Turn the nozzle off. Let the last few drips go. And yeah. Turn my washer on. And I'm good to go. Um, so let me give y'all the last little what's going on here okay so here is this side and here is the other side I have my dryer sheets here, um, cleaning supplies, cleaning supplies, this is my arts and crafts, this is my smell good, and this is my dog stuff, you know, I'm just feeling real organized, you know, an organized life is a great life, okay, but yeah, so, if you guys enjoyed watching this video, if you guys enjoyed organizing my washroom with me um come back come back you're welcome you are welcome here okay you're welcome um if you guys have any suggestions of what you would like to see me do any um suggestion of diy videos of my family anything just you know Leave it in the comments and I will be sure to get back here. You guys, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button so you can get notifications. Bye. Thanks for watching.